Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about staircase lighting. So let's look at the example first. Staircase lighting. The light on each step of staircase should remain on for 10 seconds after the last detected movement. So there is a light on each staircase, each step of staircase, and when the step is uh, taken uh, from one step to another, the light turns on and it will remain on for 10 seconds. And that remains on after the last detected movement. So for this example, we'll use normally open contacts and we will use some timers like T off. So instead of uh, taking many uh, steps of the staircase let's take three for example so let's move to ti portal version 16 where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example this is the interface of ti portal firstly let's go here go to plc tags and default tag table So here we will be drawing, uh, we will be adding our inputs and outputs. So we have some inputs, sensor 1 at step 1 that detects the motion. Then we have sensor 2. So we are taking only 3 steps. So there will be 3 sensors at each step. And then we have 3 lights light one so this is an output so its address will be q0.0 .0, and we have light two and light three at three steps after that i will go to program blocks and then main ob1 So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So firstly, if sensor 1 gets activated, then light 1 gets on. So this will be sensor 1 and this will be light 1. Light 1. Similarly, if sensor 2 gets activated, light 2 gets activated. So this will be sensor 2 and the coil will be light 2. Similarly, we have sensor 3 and light 3. So when sensor 3 gets detected, uh, when sensor 3 detects, then light 3 gets on. And then when the last detected motion will turn off the light one after 10 seconds. So here we will use a timer that will be T off. So we will go to timer operation, double click on T off. Okay. And then we have also here T off being used T off. Okay, and then for light 3 also we will use T off. So, when sensor 1 detects that someone is at step 1, this light 1 gets off and when he steps to the another uh, step, from step 1 to step 2, the sensor 1 detects that detects that the person has taken another step. So, this light 1 will not get immediately off, but it should wait for 10 seconds. So, here will be 10 seconds. Similarly, 
for this light to light to it will turn off after 10 seconds after the last detected movement so also this light 3 will turn off after 10 seconds after the last detected presence of someone at that particular step so let's start simulation here Click on load. And then finish. And after that, I will start CPU. Okay, and then start monitoring. After that, I will switch to project view. Here, we need to create a new project. We'll go to simulation tables and simulation table 1 and after that right click here and load project tags. So after that, so when sensor 1 detects that there is someone at that particular step, the sensor 1 gets activated as a result this light 1 gets on as that person will go to the next step those so the sensor will get activated but light one will still remain on and it will remain on for 10 seconds similarly when sensor 2 gets activated so this uh, after 10 seconds it gets off so when sensor 2 detects that there is someone at that particular step this light 2 gets on and when that person goes to another step the sensor 2 gets off the sensor 2 gets activated but this light 2 still remains on and it will remain on for 10 seconds more and after that it will turn off. Similarly, when sensor 3 detects that there is someone at, particu at that particular step, so this light 3 gets activated and when there is a large detection of that person, so this sensor gets deactivated as a result this light 3 will turn off after 10 seconds so after 10 seconds it gets off it was all about this example thank you for watching